everybody. Aloha. Aloha. Oh, let's do better. I, I hardly heard any of you, and there's a lot of people in here. I, I, that needs to be super loud. I'm going to say it, then you're going to say it, okay? Aloha. Aloha. Yes, love it. Music to my ears right there. Awesome. All right. Well, on behalf of our Wahine and Kane dancers, welcome to our 2023 annual Spring Hoike. My name is Monica Martin, and I am the advisor for Ohana Mahi Aloha, which means, oh, <laughs> which means family of strong love. Uh, forgive me, I've been doing this for so long, but I still have a script because yeah, I get nervous, believe it or not. <laughs> um, tonight is a very special and bittersweet night. For me, I'm sorry. As I will conclude my 18 years tenure as advisor for this amazing club, to help mark this occasion, some of our alumni members have come to join in my final journey with you. Come with us as we take you on a tropical, uh, special tropical journey to the islands of Hawaii, New Zealand, and Tahiti. Now, really quickly, I want to go over the first song, um, Hemeli no Lilo. Um, that was the very first dance we did at our very first spring recital. And I wanted to come full, full circle with my last time up here. And I presented it to the group, and I said, hey, guys, what do you think about uh, doing uh, the Lilo dance? And everybody was so excited, a lot because the new girls had never done it before. And uh, we have an awesome, awesome alumni, Megan McBride, who volunteered to come in and teach that dance to them. And as you can see, everybody had so much fun doing that. And it, it's just a very special, special uh, routine. And we did it for several years. Uh, the beginning of the club, where, and then I finally had to retire it. I'm like, guys, we're done with Lilo. Let's move on. But I really thought it'd be special to uh, have them do it for you guys tonight. So I hope you enjoyed that. And forgive me if every so often I, I break down. Okay. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have some alumni help me with the MC, and uh, I'm going to introduce uh, Juliet to you. Hi, I'm Juliet. Um, I'm the I'm the 2020 alumni. Um, I was in Miss Martin's club for all four years of high school. They were the worst PTSD I've ever had, but the most fun. Um, Miss Martin definitely brought back my PTSD this past few <laughs> two weeks, <laughs> and uh, brought back a lot of memories. Um, I think my favorite one is we were working on our. I think it was our level three Oana dance costumes, and Miss Martin was in there sewing, and I was learning how to make my own top. She was like, oh. I was like, oh, what'd you do? 
she sewed through, sewed through her entire nail and was just like, okay, this happens all the time, and just pulled it out. I was like, okay, that, 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 we'll, we'll go on with that. <laughs> so I'm very sad that this is her last year. I'll definitely come and see how they turn out. <laughs> and then now for our first designate, our first stop is Hawaii. We begin our journey on the islands of Hawaii where the art of hula has been a way of life in the natives of these small tranquil islands for hundreds of years. It's an image of swaying hips, graceful hands, and hypnotic melodies. Tonight, our dancers will be demonstrating two forms of hula. For you, it's gonna be the kahiko and the auanas. We'll start off with kahiko, which means ancient. This form of hula is sung in Hawaiian language and accompanied with um, percussion implement. Hula kahiko is performed for storytelling and religious and ceremonial purposes. The attire for kahiko dance is proper, humble, and usually includes some type of native plants, nuts, or ferns. To start off our travels tonight, we will begin with a native chant to Laka, goddess of hula led by Miss Megan Makatonge, and we will follow with five kahiko meles. Thank you. Ay, 
Like our segment. The level three girls were using an implement uh, known as an ipu, which is basically a hollowed out gourd cut off the top, and it makes a really beautiful, beautiful sound uh, with Hawaiian dance. So that was an ipu. All right, let's move on. Hello, aloha. My name's Brianna. I am an alumni of this club. I was in this club from 2017 through 2019. So, oh. <laughs> um, so now we're going to go into Hawaii, Oana. We will conclude our visit to Hawaii showcasing Oana hulas. Hula Oana is more contemporary and tends to be more colorful, musical, and sometimes fun and upbeat. Oana dances are accompanied by a song in English, Hawaii, or both. 
usually includes the well-known the well-known ukuleles and slack key guitars. The dancer's attire is considered modern looking and many many times tends to be more colorful and usually usually decorated with flowers. We hope you enjoy the following Ford Oana dances. In Kialakikula Harbor, I want to be with all the carnies and wahinas that I used to know. I can hear the old guitars playing on the beach at home now. now. I can hear the old Hawaiian saying. It won't be long till my ship will be sailing back to Kona. It's a grand old place that's always fair to see. I'm just a little Hawaiian and a homesick island boy. I wanna go back to my fish and point. I wanna go back to my little grass shack. It won't be long till my ship will be sailing back to Kona. It's a grand old place that's always fair to see. I'm just a little Hawaiian and a homesick island boy. I want to go back to my fish and poi. I want to go back to my little grass shack in Kealakikula Hawaii. Where the huma huma nuku nuku apua I go swimming by. I 
Feeling my 
absolutely beautiful and the girls asked me what my favorite color was and I said purple so yes Lue, 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 Lue.
is Miss Genesis Soyos. We have Miss Crystal Daza. Alexis Castaneda. Next up, Miss Destiny Sanchez.
Next up, Miss Micah Ocampo. Next we have Miss Kylie Laura. Shepherd. All right, now I'm going to introduce Miss Megan Makatange.
next up we have a duo, best friends forever, Miss Olivia Lawrence and Ashley Mahorder. get together you know what to do so on behalf of ohana mahi aloha we'd like to say mahalo and aloha <laughs> bittersweet for me to to walk away from this club it's it's been my baby I, I guess is what I'd like to say it's like it's been a part of me for so long here for 18 years and I, I have I'm so passionate about it and I love it so much I love the culture and as you can see from looking at some of these pictures behind me um, it's just been so wonderful to uh, build those relationships with all those kids that have been a part of this club for all these years and uh, I'm just so proud of everybody that's come through this club and I'm gonna miss it and uh, but I'll always be here if the kids need me I will definitely be here for them if they need any help from me for anything because um, I can't 100% walk away from this club it's it's my baby and I'm hoping that it continues in that tradition to stay focused because I don't want people to think that this is a club about dance. It's so much more than the dance. It's so much more. It's, it's cultural. It's, it's learning and respecting these cultures. And I want it to continue that way. My hope is that it still does, even after I've stepped aside from it. So, yeah. I cherish all of it. I cherish all of it. We do it from the mountain to the ocean, from the windward to the leeward side.